Hi guys, my name's Louis and I'm an audiologist at Value Hearing on the Gold Coast. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new release of the Oticon Own Custom Hearing Aids. So in 2021, Oticon released the Oticon More range of devices, which proved to be quite popular. The More represented a shift in sound processing strategies. Typically up till that point, most hearing aids were using uh, directional microphone features to help users in background noise situations. So the premise there is that when you're in a noisy environment, the microphones would become far more forward focusing. Uh, and the assumption behind this strategy uh, was that the user was always looking at the person that they were listening to. And whilst this is true most of the time, there are many instances where speech or important sounds are coming from your sides or maybe even from behind you. So there are limitations with a directional microphone because it tends to attenuate or suppress the volume of sounds coming from any direction that isn't directly in front of you. This is where the Oticon More is different. So Oticon utilized a very sophisticated form of artificial intelligence called a deep neural network, which is essentially designed to mimic the way that the brain learns and trains itself. Uh, and this deep neural network was basically trained to identify speech and focus on speech regardless of its direction relative to the user. So whether that was coming from your sides or from the front, um, the deep neural network was designed to identify it and focus in that direction whilst keeping an open soundscape. So keeping things sounding as natural as possible. Someone with normal hearing doesn't have this funnel-like focus on sounds in front of them. The brain is exposed to all the noise in its environment. And the philosophy is that it utilizes all of that information to help you focus. So that's the approach that the Oticon more took. Uh, and I must say that Generally, the feedback I've had from those that I fit with Oticon more is, has been quite positive. Um, this approach has also been backed by extensive research from Oticon, showing that the more improved quite significantly listening effort and speech clarity and noise when compared to some of their previous models. However, anyone looking to be fit with a custom in-the-ear hearing aid didn't have access to the Oticon More technology because it was only released in the behind the ear form factor. That is until now. So Oticon's new release of the Oticon Own essentially takes the Oticon More technology and puts it inside a custom in the ear hearing aid, which is fantastic news for those who have a preference for the custom devices. The Oticon Own comes in five different technology tiers. The Own 1, 2 and 3, are the parallels to the more one two and three uh, the one being the premium flagship model then the own four and five are the parallel of uh, oticon's basic range zircon one and two okay so uh, utilizing the same open soundscape philosophy but just uh, differences in the strength and the sophistication of the processing uh, in executing that strategy so again, one being the premium, five being the most basic. Now, it's important to understand that a basic hearing aid isn't necessarily bad. You just need to be matched with a hearing aid that's suitable for your requirements. So make sure that you see an audiologist that can assess your ability to hear in noise and gauge how much support you need. So here at Value Hearing, for instance, we do a speech and noise test and we can have a look at how much support the brain needs. And for people who do quite well in a speech and noise test, we're more than happy to fit them with a basic hearing aid. In fact, we'd prefer to fit them with something that is uh, enough support without over supporting the brain. So again, a basic hearing aid is certainly not a bad hearing aid. It just depends how suitable it is for you. So see an audiologist who can uh, measure these things and provide you with the right technology for your requirements. Now the Oticon Own comes in all the standard custom hearing aid sizes from the small and almost imperceivable IIC to the CIC, the ITC, and the largest ITE or in the ear hearing aid. Now, Bluetooth is only available in the last two sizes, the larger sizes, because we require a larger shell to accommodate the hardware that enables the Bluetooth functionality. So 
these devices are very new so I've had very little hands-on experience with them but let's go over some of the pros and cons based on what we do know so far. So starting with the pros, uh, Oticon claim that they have advanced their miniaturization techniques so they're claiming that these are the smallest yet most powerful custom products that they've ever released. So that's a huge plus, that's uh, people tend to look for discretion when they're looking at a custom device. That's one of the bigger advantages. Um, the second pro is that this is Oticon's first custom hearing aid that will be both Bluetooth compatible with an iPhone and Android, assuming that your Android phone is um, ASHA compatible. So check the compatibility listings on their website uh, to ensure that your phone is going to be suitable. And lastly, as we start, said at the top of the video, um, these custom products will be able to take advantage of the fantastic advances in technology that Oticon achieved with their more range of devices. Now on to the cons. So unlike many of the other manufacturers that have recently released new custom products, Oticon have decided not to release a rechargeable version in the Oticon own. Now I can only assume that this is uh, so that they can keep their devices as small and discreet as possible. We know that lithium ion batteries or rechargeable batteries uh, are a little bit larger and therefore the hearing aids have to be a bit larger to accommodate them. So this may or may not be a disadvantage based on your preference. Now the second uh, disadvantage or the second con is that in those latter two sizes, the ITE and the ITC, the two larger styles, uh, the users have to choose whether they want Bluetooth or telecoil. The hearing aids won't accommodate both. And again, I'm assuming this is done to keep them as small and discreet as possible. Unless you are a telecoil user, I don't think it's going to be too big a deal. I think most people are, um, prefer to have Bluetooth capability in their hearing aids um, moving forward. So that concludes our quick overview of the Oticon own hearing aids. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like and subscribe to our channel so you're kept abreast of future updates and any new videos that we release. Thanks for your attention, guys.